It's hard to believe that the last uh, Wild Goose segment has been released and as I think over the last, honestly, over the last year and a half, there's been so many blessings and so many graces about being a part of the Wild Goose. And, and probably the most beautiful, and for me personally, is just the experiences that so many of you have shared with uh, the Wild Goose and what your experience has been and, and how you've been touched by them and how the Lord has blessed you by them. It's just, it's just been a great, great grace for me and to be able to be able to see what the Lord has done. Uh, one of the questions I get a lot is, like, how did the story come about? And, and who did the beautiful, the beautiful filming and the beautiful music? And, and these are all questions that, that I would love to be able to talk about. But the reality is, is it simply wasn't just me. Uh, there were so many people involved. In, and actually, I'd like you to be able to meet some of the people behind the scenes, the ones who really made Wild Goose look beautiful. So I'd like to introduce you to a couple of friends of mine. So let's see how we're going to do this. Um, oh, I know. Like a good neighbor. Stay. That is so cool. <laughs> you guys you guys can do anything, can't you? Pretty much. Careful what you say. I know. Seriously, that's one of the things that's been really wild is is these guys control my life. I mean they could do anything. But yeah, let me just introduce uh, Dan Johnson and Jonathan Weiss. And maybe you guys just share just a second about yourself and, and who you are. Sure. So I'm the creative director for four PM Media and uh, husband to a beautiful woman and yes. uh, father of four. That's great. Awesome. Uh, I've done a lot of the editing uh, with The Wild Goose and uh, came on board actually uh, for the last few segments. It was a really huge blessing to get to be part of the filming even though uh, on the back end and uh, also husband and uh, have three small kids and yeah, it's a blessing yeah. to be here. Uh, I, I've said many, many times, uh, the people that make The Wild Goose beautiful are these two guys. And the Lord just really, really blessed this. But one of the questions I get oftentimes is, is how did the wild goose come about? And we wanted to share for just a few minutes how that came about, how the story of the wild goose came about. So uh, I think the beginning point is, is uh, when I wrote the book, the, the Breath of God, which I think many of you have seen, um, as I was praying about that, I wanted to be able to get the message of the Holy Spirit out to a larger population. Uh, as I say in The Wild Goose, that it's really, really important, I think particularly in the world today, that, that we understand that the Holy Spirit wants to have a relationship with us. It's not just this one-time deal, but the Holy Spirit wants to bless us in so many ways. And so I was thinking that, that what I wanted to be able to do is, is maybe something with video, because there's a whole world out there in, a, in a, the internet, and really use the good things about the internet to be able to spread the message of the Holy Spirit, the message of the wild goose. Uh, so some friends of mine had started a production company called uh, 4PM Media, who does the magic behind this uh, wild goose. I, and we were having lunch or coffee or something like that one day, or? Yeah, we were up in, in Steubenville, yeah. Franciscan, and we were filming uh, a piece for them, and you happened to, to come over and we had a, had a meal and just started the conversation. Yeah, we just kind of started talking about what, what might the Lord inviting us to do. And, and I remember one day I was praying and, and the sense I got was the Lord was saying to me, uh, the door is open, now you just need to be able to walk through it. And that's really been kind of the, the word of the grace that we've been working through the whole time is this sense of the door is open and we've been invited to walk through it. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's been a series of doors yeah, that yeah, have opened. Yeah. And some funny, we had to knock on. Some we had to knock on and you, you kind of got the feeling that that the door was open, you had no idea though what was on the other side. Yeah, and that's honestly, that's been the coolest thing is, is that when we started this, we really didn't have any idea of, of the amount of reach it would have. And yeah, Jonathan, uh, how many countries? Uh, we're in like over a hundred countries. I just looked today and it's like close to 40,000 individuals who have interacted with some content of the Wild Goose. And um, I mean, we're in the hundreds of thousands of visits to the website. Um, people coming back and watching episode after episode. That, that's just the coolest thing. I mean, when we started this, there wasn't this idea that over a hundred countries, I mean, at any time all around the world, people are being able to, to look at this and experience, and it's not just look at the video, but experiencing the Holy Spirit through the video. That the video is the, the vehicle to allow us to encounter the Holy Spirit, which is just a great thing. One of the things that I've gotten is, uh, and we all have, lots of video, uh, lots of emails. And, and let me just say at the beginning, I wished we could answer every email. And we do the best we can, but 
that's another thing we just didn't expect. Literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of emails. So uh, we do the best we can. Be patient with us. Uh, Jonathan, I think you should handle all the emails for the rest of the time. You know? But like some of the questions we get is, um, what's your favorite segment? And, uh, obviously, I don't have kids, but that's like, which kid do you like the best? You know, so a uh, favorite segment? It's probably, it's probably either Niagara or the Spirit in the Desert. Um, God's love poured out for yeah. Spirit in the Desert. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would probably agree with the desert. It just um, it was timely for me and my own personal life and what was going on in my community. And uh, but the visuals in it are just incredible, yeah, stunning. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the things is is we, we would get some of you email with every segment. And you said, okay, that's my favorite segment. Okay, this is my favorite <laughs> segment, which was always fun. But the other is that authentically that. People will write and they'll say, okay, this is my favorite segment. Uh, and, and that was interesting because I kind of thought that more people would like more than one of the others. But I think it's, as you said, Jonathan, where kind of where you are in your spiritual life, that that's really touched you. Uh, the Eucharist had a profound impact on, on many people in Wright wrote that. But, and that's, I think that's the, one of the graces of the Wild Goose is that it really reaches a broad spectrum of people. But it's not like some of the funny things are that we're, I remember when we were at Niagara Falls and it's just a beautiful, beautiful image. It was also freezing cold. <laughs> if you remember that day, it's just like I couldn't even move my hands anymore. It was so cold. But we had a really cool event happen there that we were doing the filming and there was this guy that worked for the city. He had the Niagara Falls uh, city uniform, like, uh, I don't know, clean up or something like that. I'm not exactly sure grounds, what he did. Yeah, yeah. grounds, yeah. Uh, so he literally runs across the street and he walks up to me and he says, who are you and why do I think I'm supposed to talk to you? It was the coolest thing. And we just spent the next 10 or 15 minutes just witnessing about what the Lord is doing and what we're doing with the wild goose. And he said, he said, I saw you standing there and I just felt that, okay, I've got to go talk to that guy. So uh, that, that was kind of a cool thing. Um, well, it was funny too. Up in, in Niagara, same, same time, another guy came over and he... <laughs> He says, oh, are you, know, are you guys here because of the other Franciscan who was yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're all kind of looking at each other like, I don't know what, what you mean. He goes, oh, the plaque. And he points, we're literally standing right next to this plaque that talks about the first. Yeah, Father uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who was there, who was the Franciscan. Yeah, I, I don't know stuff. what it was, 1700s or something like that. This Franciscan had come to this place <laughs> at this spot. And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we were planning <laughs> plan this whole thing. And he was the guy, was he the guy that was the Jewish guy? I think he was. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. which was cool too. Kept on yeah. saying shalom, so that was great. Or, yeah, the the desert one is one that, that gets gets a lot of uh, a lot of feedback. The thing I remember most about the desert is first off, we got up at three in the morning to get to the desert before it got too hot. I had just finished a youth conference, which generally the day after youth conference for me <laughs> is just like crash and and, and rest. And but the, the Lord really really blessed that. He did, yeah, and, and being there, I think, and you get the feel of it in that actual segment, that feel of the quiet that was there. I mean, I just don't, I don't know that I've been to a place where there just wasn't anything else. Yeah. And, and that really spoke to kind of the vision behind really what the Spirit was doing throughout the whole project. It's just feeling like this is, this fits for what the Spirit is trying to say. Um, and I think that's good is that I mean, for us being able to, it was, you say you've been blessed by it, but we have been blessed tremendously. And, and honestly, to be in the desert that morning as the sun was rising was just a, a graced, graced experience for us. And, and these guys are able to take the beauty that is in that and create something beautiful. You know, I, I often say that when people say, oh, it's so beautiful, I say, it has nothing to do with me. It's, it's these guys. And, and I realize that it's really one of the great things of the Wild Goose is it's been a team effort, but it really is these guys that make it beautiful. They can take the words and the ideas and the themes and yeah, and, and work through really, really difficult things. I remember when we did the, the one at the sacraments, on the sacraments at the St. Louis Arch, if you notice, these are like these backdoor secrets and yeah. stuff. Off to the, would it be the right of the screen, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, but right of the screen. There is a, a refinery or something like that. I don't even know what it was. Some manufacturing. Yeah, manufacturing yeah, and it was, it was noisy and we had to do it like three different times in the morning and, and the afternoon. And the locust too, the locust yeah, was yeah, chirping, yeah. chirping. And if you notice, if you look at the screen off to the left, uh, there's the lights of the St. Louis Cardinal baseball game, which <laughs> which we didn't think there was a game, but we probably <laughs> were I, I remember thinking, we're sitting there filming, and and we look over and we see the lights come on, and, and we're like, wait, Father, I thought you checked, there wasn't a game. We would have scheduled this that's other right, That's right, that's right, that's <laughs> right. But this is much more important. What I think, it is, and it was certainly much more important, and I think for 
those who've been viewing The Wild Goose, you enjoyed that time listening to Father Dave. I think for us, being able to travel to all these different places and spend the time not just when we're when we're on set filming, but when we're we're hanging out between things and talking through things. I mean, we really got it was just a just a great atmosphere of collaboration and getting to know the camaraderie and getting to know one another and just enjoying you know, that spirit of what we were doing throughout the entire period. Yeah. And I think for me, the, the the creation and the exercise of the wild goose we were being invited to do exactly what, what we were asking everybody else to do, you know, to be able to trust in the Lord, to be able to be quiet, to be able to listen to the Lord, to be able to respond to the Lord. To say, to say what we finally ended up with with the wild goose is what we expected when we first started it could not be further <laughs> from the truth. But I think, again, that that was a testimony to us doing our best to be faithful to the Lord. And, and I think beautifully, you know, myself as a friar, as a priest, you guys as married men and the vocation that you have, and. And, and the support of the families, it's just, it's just been a great grace. But maybe, maybe just some of the thoughts and feedback from, from those of you who have emailed me. And again, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've sat at times with tears in my eyes, reading your guys' stories of, of what God is doing in your life through this. And, and to think that, that we get to be a part of that. You know, that, that one person's life is forever changed because of the wild goose is, is remarkable. But the reality is, as you said, Jonathan, it's not just one person. It's, it's tens and tens of thousands of people. And this is just beginning. The thing about the wild goose is it's out there for all time. But, but also we've got other things up our sleeves for the wild <laughs> goose, right? There are other plans. Okay. So like here's, here's just a nice thing. So somebody writes me, this actually came through Facebook. He saw, I saw on Facebook about the video series on Sunday, February 28th. I was so intrigued by the title, The Wild Goose is Loose. What is this? So I clicked on and I started watching the videos. I watched the first three right away that morning. Now I suggested you don't binge watch, but they binge watch, all right? <laughs> so, so as I was driving to work that morning, I remember what Father said, and I just said, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. And I repeated that prayer several times. As soon as I stepped out of my van, I heard a loud sound that I thought was geese flying over me at close range, and I looked up and I didn't see any. The noise continued and I finally saw it coming from a single goose perched on the top of my work building. It was squawking and fluttering and carrying on as if to say, I'm here, I'm over here, look, look. I certainly saw it. It was making such a fuss. I took a couple of pictures on my new phone and then it flew off as I over, and I was overwhelmed by the presence of the God's Holy Spirit. It was quite something and I just had to share this with you. I don't know about you guys, but every time I see a goose now, it's like, <laughs> it's just, yeah. It's, well, it's funny, I don't know that I really saw them as much as I do now. Yeah, they're <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, everywhere yeah. I go, there's geese. I'm like, yeah. oh, it's cool. Yeah, so this one says, Father Dave, you have no idea how these segments bless my life every day. Thank you so much, and I pray that God gives you more wisdom. And I would ask that you would pray that the Lord would give me, would give us more wisdom as we continue to go. Um, I love this project, Father Dave. It's magnificent work. That's a testimony to you guys. Praise the Lord, and thank you for reminding me of my intimate friend and my companion of the Holy Spirit. I'm ready for a revival. Come Holy Spirit. Another one, I have chills watching this thanking God for what he has done for me in the Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough, Father Dave, and your team for speaking words of truth into my life. I'm so excited to be on this journey in discovering the love of the Holy Spirit and building my relationship with God. I pray that many will be touched and be awoken from their slumber as I have experienced this myself. God, continue to bless your good work. God bless you. You know, this is I, I, I just watched the segment on the Eucharist. I cannot tell you how well, the profound impact that it had on my life. What a blessing. Thank you for such a beautiful gift. I can't wait to be at Mass and to receive the Holy Eucharist tomorrow. I also can't wait to, wait to view the other segments of the Wild Goose. Or I just watched Father Dave's uh, segment on the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It was incredible. The graphics, the sound, the music, the color, they were all beautiful. But most important, the message. I heard what God wants to do in my life. I can't wait to experience that. <laughs> and then finally, after the last segment, people wrote, um, please do more. If it's Thursday, it's Wild Goose Day, and I just started on episode one, and I'm going through again. That's one of the things that, that, that is funny. There's various groups that are gathering all across the country, and 
they're calling themselves goose groups. I just, I like that image. Or what was the one? The, yeah, this a friend group. of mine was in, uh, was at Texas A&M and hanging out with some friends and they said, oh, you got to see this thing. We got to show you this. And so they pull up the wild goose and they start talking about it. And there's this whole group there that just, they do the same thing. They watch, they watch the segments together. So they have a house and they call the house, the nest. That's so great. Like, That's wow. great. There it and that's is. So goose groups, the nest, and this is, these are all things that, that we honestly, we didn't imagine as, as we began exactly what that would look like. But it's been a great blessing. Uh, maybe just to be able to answer a question that we get all the time, and that's one about DVDs. Uh, we will have DVDs, and it was always the intention to be able to have that, but but the, the, the request for it is so much more than we expected. I mean, one of the requests we've gotten at least a half a dozen times is, is people that want DVDs so that they can share them in prison ministry. Uh, the thought of the wild goose being, being viewed in prisons across the country never crossed my mind, but that's happening. And, and that's such great grace. So uh, our goal is to have the DVDs available to you by about a week before Pentecost, week before Pentecost. so they can order. So you'll see something in the next couple of weeks about how to order those. And even that's just been just a great blessing uh, to be able to get the DVDs. Uh, and th those will be done in with English subtitles and Spanish, English subtitles. And Spanish subtitles. Interestingly, yeah. uh, right now the wild goose is being uh, translated in Croatian, Romanian, I think Russian, uh, of which I, I don't speak any of that. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't speak it either. We don't. We, don't speak we have friends who are watching it in those places who wanted to translate it. Yeah, it, it, it's so cool. Like they've sent us pictures of a small group in Croatia and they were watching the wild goose on TV and they sent it and they had the subtitles below in Croatian. And yeah, again, just never imagined. Yeah, never, yeah, never, never imagined. Thought. Uh, the other is that uh, people say, well, what's next? And we don't know totally what's next, but we are really excited about the next event that we're working on. Uh, should we tell them? Let's not tell them yet. Let's not tell them. Just keep them secret. Keep them wicked. Yeah. Just pay attention yeah. over the next couple of weeks and you'll get uh, further information and, and updates from myself, uh, from Dan and from Jonathan about our next event. We would ask that you would continue to pray for us uh, as we pray for you and that we would be able to do what the Lord asks us to do. May God pour out his Holy Spirit upon you, fill you with his love and his presence. God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Amen.